Hey Flow Themers, in the following video I'm going to show you how to set up the posts for your portal theme and with that we are going to show you two options that will be the post settings with Porto, how to create the global layouts with your Porto theme so by global layouts I mean the layout that will be default for your blog post so how that will look with featured image all the different items that are as available to you so you can see there's you know, different view types here and you can set a standard view type for that as well and you can actually also create custom post types as well if you want to make each individual post slightly different or just only specific blog posts so to do that I'm going to go over to your post settings area in the back end so first things first log into your flow themes back end in WordPress then come down to flow themes and then five posts and from here you will then have the global layout and this layout as mentioned will be the standard uh, layout that you use for any of your blog posts as default whenever you create a new blog posts and you can see in this already we have uh, a number of blocks and elements added so the header, so the navigation menu, the item title, again, that will just be the title of the actual blog post, the content, so that's the content you add inside the blog post up here. You will have related items, again, great for SEO purposes, interlinking of content, and can really help with keeping people on your site for longer. You will have also sharing options and tags, comments, and then, of course, the footer. So that is a standard, the global layout, and you can modify and adjust this to suit your needs. So maybe, for example, you didn't want the share options or the comments, you could simply just hit the bin icon and remove those blocks and elements, and it would just remove them. Again, you can also drag and drop things into different orders if you wish, and you know, add any additional blocks as needed, just as you would with a normal page builder. So if you wanted to do that, you would come down to the bottom, go to add block, and then choose any of the blocks and elements that you would like to build out that page. Now, whether that is adding a contact form to the page, whether that is adding your own custom links, maybe you wanted to have your own featured links per uh, post. You could also have item pagination, so pagination between posts. And there's a lot of different blocks that you can add in here to make it slightly more unique uh, for you. Now, with that being said, most of you will benefit from st sticking to the standard uh, blog layout. The main item I would normally suggest for people to review and change would, of course, be this item title area. As you can see, there are various different options for that. The full screen slide, the full screen image option. You can have the image above and the title below or the title above and no featured image. So you have a few different variations and that usually comes from the item title block. So again, if you want to display a featured image, you can choose the option here above title as a background image or below the title area. Or if you didn't want it, you would just turn that off as well. You can also have the option for categories and dates if you wanted to turn those off globally. So across all of your blog posts, you can come in here. Again, come into the global layout come to the item title block, edit it as always, and turn off the date and turn off the category if you would like to do that. You also have the option to display an excerpt. Again, that's the little the blurb at the very top here. So if you had one just like this, just a little blurb, and it's usually taken from the post itself. You can, of course, also have a decorative image and the decorative letter as well. Uh, so that will take the first letter from the post and of course add that over here to the side as well. So there's an F there and an L here. And again, if you have an icon added, it will add the icon over here as well. So again, a few different options uh, for variations and how you might want that to look. And you can just go ahead and play with those options and change the blog post to sort of suit your own personal needs. Now there is a template, again, so if you've messed everything up and you decide, okay, I want to switch it back to the standard template, you can go to the template option, click post type A, and just simply apply that. That will then reset the global layout uh, block options with that template. 
For the miscellaneous tab, you have a few options for the post layout. Uh, if you want it full width with a right or left sidebar, and if you change one of these, you can update all of the blog posts uh, to be that specific uh, value. So if you wanted all posts to have a right sidebar, uh, you would then of course update all the posts. And the same if you're using full width as well. You can have auto set featured image. Again, if you don't set the featured image yourself and you forgot about that, and it is sort of required with our themes, then auto set featured image is going to be useful for you and it will choose the first image within the post. You have the blog post responsive images. Again, we recommend keeping this on, so allow responsiveness for all image devices. This means that we create SRC sets, different sizes of images for your blog posts, and that means it will be optimized and show better on all devices. And then you also have an option here for the spacing between images. So here you can see whenever images are ins inserted inside the post, we have 10 pixels. Spacing, you can reduce that spacing as well down to zero. And of course, increase that as well if you want to create something unique. Of course, most of you will probably stick between uh, 10 and uh, five pixels as a good option for that to keep the image is nice and close, but of course just a little gap here to separate up those images nicely. So that is the uh, blog post settings for the global layout, and that will apply to all blog posts as default. And now if you wanted to also do a single blog post, so you wanted to create a more unique layout for a single post, for example, so I'm in this blog post, uh, Little Miss Sunshine over here, I'm just gonna close a few of these windows. And right now it has uh, the default layout. And if I want to maybe create a unique uh, layout for this post, you would just come down to the post section, enable the user custom layout for this post, and then of course, update and change the elements within this. So this gives you the opportunity to create a single blog post that is unique to only that post. So you can make a layout, maybe you wanted to add some additional options within uh, this specific post. So let's go down here, for example. Maybe you wanted to add a slideshow, for example. You could add a slideshow inside a post and then of course attach any slideshow to the blog post itself. So I've added a slideshow here. You could of course drag that up to the very top here and you know just put it above or below your post. So I'm going to put it below the header and add a slideshow and then of course that will be taken from the slideshow area over here. Now it isn't recommended to really use a slideshow with lots of images um, as it isn't the best solution when you're using large images um, in a uh, blog. Uh, it would be better to of course add the content throughout the blog post as normal. But that's just an example of how you can add blocks there as well. Um, some other options that uh, generally are useful for people again would be for interlinking different types of uh, content and posts throughout this, maybe call to action buttons. Uh, you could add other things like, let's have a look at the different blocks. You might want to have contact block. Uh, you could, as mentioned, have the buttons. Um, you could use other items. Let's have a quick look here as well. Uh, for uh, pagination, as mentioned, maybe you wanted to use some um, text blocks at the end, you know, again, a call to action, a little bit about you, you could have that in the bottom of each. Just some different variations and options that you could sort of have throughout this uh, blog post. Again, video blocks as well, if you wanted to do a video for the overview of the blog, it's a, it's a great one if you're a videographer or someone who likes to uh, story tell as well. It just gives you lots of flexibility to build something more unique, and of course then uh, create your blog posts individually, um, because not everyone has the same needs and not every post is equal. So that's it folks, it's very simple to create a custom blog post and again to do that you can scroll down to the post section below the main content area, enable use a custom layout and of course then in the custom layout section add, remove, move around the blocks and then just update the page here and that would be it. So that's it folks, go ahead, you can update your blog post settings area if you need to for the global layout and if you want to create unique single individual posts, enable the custom layout option inside the post here itself and create the layout that you need.